Cross-dressing. Confidence. Question. I've been talking to a few people lately and I wrote the following in a message. I thought it may give pause for thought to a few others. For this reason, I am posting it. Being six foot three or whatever is not the disadvantage that you may think. There are a lot of very tall girls out there and I'm beginning to notice it myself. I guess we don't always notice tall women because a six foot woman actually isn't odd. Six foot three, people will look yes, but as long as everything else about you says woman then they won't begin to think it's a man underneath. I know it takes some doing. However, once you get used to the fact that people will stare because you are tall and not because you are TS or a man in drag, you will become a lot more comfortable. I once saw a woman at a bus stop. And that I can still remember this speaks volumes, who must have been six foot eight at least. I mean she was a giant. A lot of people were looking and staring. No comments were made. But she appeared not to be concerned. I mean what could she do about it? She was also well built. A person's most likely reactions are one of two. One, empathy for a tall woman. It must be hard for her kind of thing. Mostly from women, and a select few men. Two, she's a freak and perhaps had some bone disorder. I feel very few people indeed will scream out. It's a man. Or indeed even think it. So in short, don't stress. If you make the effort you won't get clocked. If people start staring cos you've got hair coming out at all angles or something. It's not an invasion of your femininity. If they do clock you as male. As long as you're not wearing full body PVC then they'll think, oh it's a transgender person. Bit weird maybe. But they're getting on with their life and they're not lauding it in my face like some queen. But then if you dress well. You'll get less negative attention that a badly dressed woman these days. So my advice, is it pays to look good. Get a copy of Vogue or something. The Sunday Telegraph magazine has a good fashion bit and a lot of mags give advice on where to find cheap alternatives to designer stuff. Reply. From a personal point of view I think I'd add. 3. She's fanciable. Also, being 6 feet 2 inches I'd say that you shouldn't try to make yourself look shorter than you are. No slouching etc. It makes your height even more obvious if you do. Reply. I agree wholeheartedly. Walk tall and hold your head high, be proud. Reply. I am amazed that every time I go clothes shopping, there are always girls taller than me. Reply. This is very good for us T-girl. Women come in all shapes and sizes these days. Reply. I love tall women. I can't help it. Last year, I went out with my girlfriend and two of her friends. They were both well over six feet, and not macho. Really gorgeous, curvy, and facial stunning. I sat between them at dinner and thought I'd just die in delight. I then heard that the absolutely drop-dead gorgeous redhead wanted to know if Kira and I were available for experimentation. I thought I'd ended in heaven. Turns out that the aforementioned gorgeous Gigi redhead wasn't interested in me, but had a thing for my girlfriend. Life's funny like that.